Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really great Sunday thus far. And so, as of today, we are 60 days away from the official start of the hurricane season. So we're now in the month of April and after next month is literally going to be the commencement of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. So time is definitely going by quickly and we'll be taking a look at what is expected this week, especially in terms of a major rainfall event that uh, could be looming for the Northeastern Caribbean. But before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so let's go ahead and return to this satellite imagery here. So we're looking at infrared satellites and we can see that most of the Caribbean isn't experiencing much at this time. Beautiful, sunny skies for most of us. However, as we look over into parts of the Lesser Antilles, especially the Windward Islands and over into Trinidad and Tobago and even Barbados, we can see quite a bit of activity, some convective activity within that area. And as we take a closer look, we can even see some thunderstorms developing to the southeast of Martin just within that area it's offshore right now but uh, all this activity is going to gradually dissipate as we progress throughout the early part of this week and drier conditions are going to be setting in for some time and so uh, let's go ahead and now talk about that so we're moving on to the Climate Prediction Center's outlook and so this was issued last Monday I believe the 28th of March and this is we're focusing here on week two where we see April 5th to, uh, to the 11th and notice that we have that green area highlighted just a bit uh, in the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean out into the Atlantic so that is indicating a chance of above average rainfall and as a matter of fact the euro model was hinting at this has been hinting at this for some time and so uh here we have that to be depicted and as i said this was from last week but uh in terms of this area specifically that is where the gfs was showing something a little bit interesting so we're going to be looking at what the models have to show we'll be looking at the model runs we'll be looking at the uh total precipitation that is expected as well so let's go ahead and kickstart things with this map here so it's been quite some time since we've looked at something like this now those black lines you're seeing those are called isobars and those isobars uh join areas of equal pressure and so usually when we see them in a circular manner and we are seeing the value there that is less than 1030 millibars uh that is indicating a low pressure system and sometimes they are tropical cyclones so let's take a look at what the gfs has to show and we can see here that we have all all that activity as we head into the end of this week however notice that we're not seeing those isobars being closed uh, which is indicating that development is not anticipated and I really don't expect that to happen because of the unfavorability of the environment definitely not completely favorable generally not that favorable at this time of year to support tropical cyclone development so I really don't think that we're going to be seeing anything much become of that however the rain Rainfall is still going to be a concern and as we move on to the euro model we can see that it is sort of in agreement we have all that activity things being a little bit messy in that area however what is left of it gets absorbed by that low pressure system that exits the US and that is likely attached to a front so not a tropical cyclone so uh, that is what is on the horizon and there is nothing from the National Hurricane Center regarding any source of development if you're curious about that however the rainfall is not something to play around with. Let's take a look at the uh, totals expected as you're going to be heading into the end of this week. So this is the total accumulated precipitation. This is sort of an animation here, whereas I usually give the imagery. So let's take a look at it. And of course, as we head more to those blues and shades of purple, that is indicating increased totals. Now, as we head to Tuesday, go into the middle of the week, we're not seeing too much happening, but heading into Thursday, there we start to see those blues in the vicinity of the Eastern Caribbean, the Northeastern Caribbean 
skin and even that purple shade now that is indicating that within that time frame i would say between uh thursday and heading to saturday there was going to be quite a bit of increased rainfall activity within the northeastern caribbean so areas such as uh most of the lesser antilles puerto rico the virgin islands hispaniola are likely going to be feeling impacts from that system and then as we take a look at what the gfs is showing from what we can see heading into Thursday and uh, into this coming weekend, we can see that quite a bit of rainfall expected by the GFS here. Now, these rains could trigger flash flooding in some areas, especially those low-lying areas, guys. So this is something that is on the horizon. And of course, we're talking about an event a few days out from now. So I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by. But this is likely to take place here. As we can see, these, uh, these models have been quite consistent about that happening. And in terms of cyclogenesis or a tropical cyclone development taking place i really don't think that we're going to be seeing that happening this week but the increased rainfall is definitely likely to be on the way and so guys, in terms of predictions for the hurricane season, there haven't been any new predictions since AccuWeather's prediction. And I'm going to be linking that video at the end of this one so that if you haven't watched it, you can go ahead and check it out. But that is pretty much it for right now. And so I hope that you guys found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.